I noticed that last time I was recording, I uh, my freaking uh, my shirt was getting green screened out along with this, so I'm wearing a much more clashing color. So hopefully it won't uh, happen. Anyway, um, the great author J D Salinger once wrote, "Fuck you." Look, see, oh, there, there it is, right there. Welcome back to the uh, second channel. It absolutely sucks here. Um, fun fact, uh, when I was, I was getting ready to record everything and I was just about to hit record and then I realized that, uh, I'm, I'm not wearing any pants. I wasn't. So I had to go and put on pants or else you guys, you guys would see my, my bare balls and ass. And I, I, I wouldn't want that. I just also realized the ball, the window is open. I should probably go close that. <clears throat> so yeah, welcome back to pork review where we review your pet pigs. Uh, number one. Uh, is the pig from Minecraft Story Mode. Gonna give that a 0 out of 10. So anyways, uh, today's video is gonna be about a concept that I like to call battle fatigue. Now you might be wondering, Jellyu, Johan, what is battle fatigue? And the answer is really simple. It's fatigue after a lot of battles. Similar to how the human body can only take so much before it collapses of exhaustion, the human mind can only take so much of the exact same thing over and over and over before it collapses of exhaustion. You know, when you, when you look at, at like the most popular animes, you will find, uh, you know, like mostly shonen, and you know, you get like the big three of shonen: One Piece, Bleach, Naruto, and then the modern uh, uh, big three. Demon Slayer, JJK, and My Hero, unfortunately. And something I uh, realized with all these is that they just, there's just too much fighting. There's too many battles. See, I noticed this with My Hero as the worst, because I used to, like, I, I watched, like, the first three seasons before I got really bored and then later realized it was really bad. <laughs> and um, there's just so much fighting. There's so many, like, tournament arcs. It's just, and it's just like five episodes in a row spent on a single battle. That's also a problem I have with like a lot of uh, modern JoJo's. You know, it's just, it's just non, it's just fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. It's so, it's so, it's so dull. You know, uh, similarly, like Black Clover. I used to watch a lot of Black Clover, but like I, there would be entire like 10 episodes I would skip. Just because it's just, it's just, I know what is going to happen. There's going to be a fight, and it's going to keep on escalating and escalating, and all of a sudden the character's going to get a really cool upgrade to win the fight at the end of the day. And it's it's so... I just, I can't stand it anymore. I, I've had enough, so this is why I'm here ranting about it. If all you ever do is just get into fights in, like, something like an anime or a video game or anything like that, then you're going to have, like, terrible pacing because you're just going to spend so much time ultimately getting nowhere. You know, if it's just you won you won a fight, now it's on to the next. What progress have you actually made if the second you remove a blockade, it just appears again, a new one appears? You know, it's it's a Sisyphean task, really. You're rolling a boulder up a hill just to see it roll back down. And you know, oh, the opponent is more powerful, but so is the main character. So ultimately, it's just another match that, that's just the same as the previous one, but with a different flavor. You know, uh, recently I've been getting into this manga, uh, Mashal. It has an anime. I don't watch anime anymore. I should probably let you know. I'm a manga exclusive guy. And it's very entertaining, very fun. But th there's a lot of fights. And I mean, it makes sense because, like, it's basically... It takes a lot of inspiration from Harry Potter, stuff like that. It's a schooling environment, and you know, when you're in school, all you can do is go forward and progress and progress and progress and progress. So, you know, of course, you need to go through a bunch of fights to test your strength and magic and muscles and all that. But, like, it's still just, it's so much. There's like, there's like, it used to be that there'd be a lot of chapters of just fun, goofing around, characters talking to each other, and, and just, you know, every now and then there's like two chapters dedicated to a fight. And now it's like 10 chapters decade to a fight and the other it's the other way around, basically. And I can't stand that because I, believe it or not, I am a very boring guy. I like uh, stories about people just talking to each other where things just happen and there's barely any action. I like that. And all, this all especially sucks when you're, like, you're waiting for uh, like an entire week for a chapter and it's just a continuation of a battle that's been going on for like 10 chapters because then it feels extra long and it makes me want to drop whatever I'm reading. So there's a, just a shit ton of like pace killing, you know? It's, it's just an, a total pacing killer when you have a super long battle like that. 
There needs to be an equal amount of characters just walking and talking and characters fighting. There needs to be a good equal balance of that. But in most modern shonen don't really care about that. It's just, whoa, epic, epic fight. <laughs> and I understand that I'm arguing about shonen, which is a genre to be marketed towards uh, basically teenagers. And, you know, which is, which, uh, big surprise, I'm a bigger fan of Sinan, which is more towards adults, you know? But it's funny, uh, a Sinan manga, Berserk, is considered one of the best, and it has, like, very scant few fight scenes. Like, don't get me wrong, the fight scenes in Berserk are amazing. But the real reason that people like it is because of the slow, quiet moments where characters reflect on the events and their own actions and words, and real make realizations. One of my favorite uh, moments in all of Berserk is uh, is just Guts on a boat realizing that, damn, I'm missing an arm. Obviously, that's a bit of like uh, underwhelming for me to say because I am exaggerating or not exaggerating. What's the opposite of exaggerating? I don't know. I'll put the word on screen. But um, like I, that's instantly that's way more interesting to look at than. A freaking fight scene you know because it you it makes you realize something that actually applies to your life and is a lesson you can actually learn and incorporate you have to realize that no matter how hard you try you can never bring back the past so you have to move on you have to keep moving on just in life just pushing that boulder up that hill uh my favorite manga of all time vinland saga it started out uh as a shonen right but the author realized that no this is definitely signing because uh, there are very few fight scenes in season one, and uh, the second you get to season two, all of a sudden the main character is a pacifist? What is this? But then you realize that it's actually one of the best character arcs to ever be done, and Thorfinn is like one of the best characters ever. Okay, but that's Sinan. What about Shonen? Uh, I actually want to do a rare... I'm actually going to do a rare thing for me to do and uh, praise something that's incredibly popular. I'm going to say thank you, Chainsaw Man. Now, I don't want to be thanking Chainsaw Man because Chainsaw Man fans are really annoying and I don't like things with really annoying fan bases most of the time. But thankfully, Chainsaw Man has very good pacing. It's incredible. You'll spend a lot of time with people just walking and talking and then you'll spend a lot of time in a big climactic fight, but none of them lasts too long. It's super, it's all well, like, paced, you know? Like, recently in the manga, there was a huge, like, fight that spanned, like, seven chapters. But before that, there were so many chapters of people just walking and talking. And I say walking and talking a lot. But, like, you need to realize that the things they're talking about are way more important than what's happening in the fight scene. Right? Because funnily enough, in a series like Chainsaw Man, it's not the actions done in a fight that affect the characters the most, but it's the actions outside of the fight. It's absolutely amazing. Now I know I know where I know that I've just kind of been going in circles because this is unscripted and all that, but I'm gonna get boring now and talk about a big boy book with words. So if you can't handle that, maybe go away because now I'm gonna talk about Stoner by John Williams. You're about to hear about this a lot on the main channel when uh, all the videos I've made to promote Hold On A Minute come out, but this is my second favorite book of all time. It's really good. And anybody, and if you ask anybody who's read it to describe it, they will probably use words like quiet, slow, and maybe even boring. And yet they will tell you it is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece because it is. Because in this book, it's all those slow, quiet, and boring moments that make us deep in thought and realize that what we got going on in our lives it makes us question the very things around us. It makes us question the people around us. It makes us question the person inside of us. And it makes you reflect that upon that and maybe it will make you change, hopefully for the better. Much like Stoner did. But there's just none of that in like any of the shonen series that are super popular. It's just non-stop fighting. And any big change that happens to a character is super, like, super either predictable or one note or too sudden. There's so much going on on the screen. But when it happens all the time, you get desensitized to it. You build up a tolerance. And most people think the way to fix that is to ramp it up. But what you really need to do is just slow down, cut back on it, and make them far and few between. So that way, when there is a fight scene, it's so much more sweet because you rarely get them. It's much more delicate. There's more value to them. That's just that's basic economics, baby.
but yeah, that was all I wanted to talk about. Um, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to my main channel. Uh, check all your wallets because they should be empty by now. They all went to me. Check all your girlfriends. They are pregnant. My doing. Um, I might take a nap in this exact position. I might just keep the camera rolling and the audio rolling because I'm really sleepy. But also I really have to poop. All right, fine, I'll end the recording. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>